Good Wednesday morning, church. Uh, today we're going to finish up Acts chapter 4. We're going to be talking about uh, unity uh, within the body, the unity of all believers. Uh, but before we get started, uh, let me just remind you to be praying for the Ellis family today. Um, Gwen uh, and um, Obed and Jen and their family, uh, they'll be laying to rest um, Obed's son Troy uh, here in Wetumpka today at uh, one o'clock at the city cemetery and then um, our church will be uh, providing a meal for the family uh, this afternoon at Gwen Ellis's home so be praying for them as they uh, mourn the loss of uh, this uh, 11 year old child. Um, Dr. Luke uh, writes uh, in the last uh, few verses of chapter 4, he says, All these believers were one in heart and mind. No one claimed that any of their possessions was their own, but they shared everything they had. With great power, the apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and God's grace was so powerfully at work in them all that there was no needy persons among them. Uh, for from time to time, those who owned land or houses sold them, brought the money uh, from the sales, and put it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to anyone who had need. Joseph, a Levite from Cyprus, uh, whom the, the apostles called Barnabas, which means son of encouragement, sold a field he owned and brought the money and put it at the apostles' feet. Uh, the Christian community is growing quickly, and they have achieved a remarkable unity of heart and soul. Uh, this unity uh, leads to a, a generous sharing of their possessions. Uh, much, much earlier in, in the book of Deuteronomy, uh, God uh, promised Israel, There shall be no poor among you, for the Lord your God will greatly bless you in the land he has given you as a special possession. Um, and James reinforces this uh, sentiment, this idea, uh, this mission uh, that God has placed us in. Uh, in his letter in the second chapter, he says, Suppose you see a brother or sister who has no food or clothing, and you say, Goodbye, and have a good day, stay warm and eat well, but then you don't give that person any food or clothing. What good does that do? So you see, faith by itself isn't enough. Unless it produces good deeds, it is dead and useless. In other words, we are blessed by God to be a blessing uh, to others. Not only does the Holy Spirit empower the believers with holy boldness, uh, the presence of the Holy Spirit brings unity to the body of believers. The Apostle Paul tells us to be eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. The Holy Spirit, then, is the great giver of unity. Paul again says, in one spirit we are all baptized into one body. Now, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and all were made to drink of one spirit. The Holy Spirit provides the unity, and we are expected to maintain that unity. And Christian unity has really two aims, to be a witness in the world and then to proclaim the glory of God. Uh, the Apostle John in his first letter makes it crystal clear how we are to achieve uh, this first uh, idea. He says, A new command I give you, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Then the Apostle Paul helps us to understand the second idea. Whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. To God be the glory. The Holy Spirit is moving uh, in the life of this early church, and the Holy Spirit continues to move 
in the life of our church. Uh, we see that in the meals that um, uh, we provide on Wednesday and, and Sunday afternoon to the shut-ins, uh, to those who uh, are at home and, and can't get out. Um, and also uh, through the box ministry that we just started. We, we are helping people to have um, some of the essentials that they need that they can't get. And so uh, as a church, we are coming together. We are united in helping uh, our community and helping each other. Uh, we don't want anyone uh, to be in need. And so if you are in need today, uh, look, you know, uh, if you're watching this video and you have a, a, a felt need that our church can meet, uh, get in touch with us. Call us at 334-567-7865. We'd, be, we, we, uh, we'd want to help you if we can today. Uh, so give us a call. Uh, for all of those who uh, give generously to our church to help uh, meet the needs of others in our community, thank you. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for your generous giving. Uh, and um, hopefully uh, soon uh, we'll be able to get back together and worship together uh, and experience the unity of the body, uh, just like uh, Luke talks about it in the uh, fourth chapter of Acts today. Uh, I miss you. I love you. I hope you have a great day. Uh, as always, be safe. Uh, be healthy and stay in Christ's arms. God bless you all. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.